What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camping with Coleman. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman. We're back in the studio on the workbench, and today we're going to be assembling a Vanquish Products Curry F9 axle. And uh, it is a replacement for a stock SCX10 axle. I have already assembled a rear axle, and uh, today we're going to be doing the front axle. I did not do a video on the rear axle because it's pretty straightforward, and uh, once we go over the front axle if you can assemble the front axle then you should have no problems doing the rear axle so we're going to take that approach but the first thing uh, I need to do is kind of clean up here so uh, this here is my hard work kit this is uh, from Team K&K and uh, I'm going to set that aside I figure you know what we're going to do kind of a longer video today we're just going to hang out I'm going to put some tools away and uh, I've had quite a few people actually request to do longer bench videos, you know, longer uh, build videos and stuff. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff out. I do a lot of tuning when I'm doing these builds. So right now I'm working on Hercules and I do a lot of uh, building and unbuilding before I actually decide on how I'm going to do something. So uh, I was sh swapping around shock ideas and um, working on clearance, working on stance, working on other things as you saw in the last video. I have it assembled right now and uh, I'm not 100% happy with it, but it is a start. Uh, let me just set all this stuff aside. Um, what I'm going to do here, sorry, it's going to get loud for a second. This is basically my replacement for an air compressor. I have an air compressor and I no longer use it because I have this bad boy right here. It's all Merkin out. This is uh, my jet blaster from CowRC. And, well, you can see for yourself. <laughs> Basically, I do that every time. Whoops. Let's see if we can pull that back down there. There we go. I do that every time I come in here and work on stuff. I just kind of blow everything off. Um, helps keep my mat clean and helps me stay clean. So I don't like getting dirty all the time when I'm wrenching, man. I mean, I don't mind it, but if I can avoid it, I try to. So, set all those aside there. Let's go ahead and go over the parts I'm going to use to assemble this axle. Um, just start with some of the smaller parts here. Uh, 12 millimeter hexes from Vanquish Products, gray ones. Uh, I've already gone over all these once in my unboxing video, but I figured I'd go ahead and refresh you guys a little bit. These right here are uh, servo clamps from Vanquish Products. These right here are the uh, servo mounts from Vanquish Products. Boom. And uh, this right here is a, another servo mount from Vanquish Products. See that there? Alright. And we have internals here. We have the uh, heavy duty bevel gear set from Axial. This is uh, 38 and 13 gearing. We have the uh, SCX10 VVD HD uh, axle shafts or CVD axles from Vanquish Products. These are uh, super, super sexy, actually. I really like this. Set those down here. Then we have our uh, Axial SCX10 8 degree knuckles from Vanquish Products. Right. Then, of course, to go with those, we have the uh, Axial SCX10 8 degree C hubs from Vanquish Products as well. Then, last but not least, here. We have the Vanquish Products Curry F9 Axle Housings. Um, these are just beautiful. And we will go ahead and get these assembled. I'm not sure if we'll do it all on video, but hey, we'll at least start and uh, do a little hanging out, a little wrenching together. <coughs> I'm not going to lie, I might be low on my uh, bearings here. Got some bearings to throw in there. Definitely set those aside. Not sure if I'll have enough or not. We'll see. Um, but let's go ahead and just start cracking this open, man. That's my favorite thing to do is open packages. So let's just open these packages up and uh, get to the goods. Got a little knife here. Just for opening packages. Stuff like that.
<coughs> Go ahead and dump the contents of this bad boy out. And doing so, throw away the extra garbage. Alright, here's the instructions. We're gonna use those. I know a lot of guys are like, I don't need no instructions. I'm going to go ahead and use the instructions just because it ensures I don't have to go back at another time and, uh, yeah, do excessive wrenching. So, here we go. We got all the parts out. First things up is that beautiful pumpkin. Yeah, see that there? Just gorgeous. Has such amazing detail. The other side here, this is the, uh, pinion gear output uh, I don't even know what they call that actually the, the other side of the housing <laughs> and boom we've got the truss here for the four link super super sexy and we've got our link mounts here for the lower links and the shocks and these right here are the axle tubes yeah not bad not bad at all. I'm sorry guys, I have my heater going in the background. It's freezing and uh, yeah, I hate working in a cold shop. So definitely have the heater going. Dogs might come in and out. Definitely doing like a low key chill build session today. So let's see. I'm gonna pull a couple of these out here just for fun. Let's go ahead and crack this open. the hell with the knife. I'm just going to use my teeth. <clears throat> Alright. Now, throw the extra plastic away and always remember keep your uh, set screws. Don't throw those away. Set that out there. You guys probably want to see that, don't you? Super nice. Just seriously amazing detail on these. I don't know if you guys got the inside of that enough. <clears throat> 